pretty satisfying performance and result, I imagine. Yeah, I think more, more, more pleased with the performance than the result. I think obviously the last couple of times we've played at Edinburgh, we've, we've fallen short and, and not been happy with our performance. And I think today we can walk away and, and recognise that the girls have um, taken on board what we've, we've spoke about, we've put into training. And when, as coaches, as a coaching group and a playing group and team, I guess, when you can do the things in training and put them onto the pitch and see a real energy and desire um, and pride in what they're doing. Uh, that's massive, so we're really excited to get back into it next week, training, and then obviously got the nines finals. Yeah, it, it's a bit, again a bit of a sort of stop start where you've got the nines and then back to, to league action. I mean, yeah. are all these different sort of formats and competitions are they are they good for the side to to sort of? Um, or would you prefer a bit a bit more continuity in, in games? I think you know it's difficult, and, it, and I might say this time that we want more continuity, and then actually you really appreciate those weeks when you've got a few injuries to come back and things like that. So. Um, it's not ideal, but you know we'll, we'll roll whatever there is, and, and obviously the nines is, is a funny one because it's a, a final, so you want to win everything. Um, but obviously there's, there's big things coming up in terms of now the Challenge Cup semi-final for us, and, and obviously wanting to get some real good momentum in the league. So yeah, it's it's, it's, it's you've got to take the rough for this move, and you know that's what the season of rugby league is like. It's always going to be unpredictable, and, yeah. and we just keep turning up week in week out with a good attitude and, and look to get get some good performances yeah and obviously we don't know yet the semi-final opponents mm. but we will do in sort of 24 hours or so I mean, but whoever you do come out against it's going to be another tough battle when you look at the teams we're playing tomorrow yeah it's going to be a massive game but that's, that's what we're all here for everyone in the cup you've got to be the best to, to be the best so whoever we get in that semi-final we'll be up for it we'll be good to go and I'm really hoping to get to Wembley. Yeah, I mean, is how much has Wembley been been spoken about in the dressing rooms leading up to sort of this game? Or well, it's not because we've got to. You don't get to Wembley unless you do what you need to do right today. So we've just got to focus on each game in hand. And the girls know it's a massive incentive to get to Wembley. And um, you know, when we started our campaign, we said you know the road to Wembley starts now. But in terms of that, that that's about it. We've got to do a job week in week out to, to get that opportunity. So. You know, until we've won a semi-final, we'll be talking about it too and much. The, the semi-finals are two double-headers as well, so I mean, that's going to be, be a massive event again, isn't it? I mean, it's all, all going in the right direction for the women's game, isn't it now? Yeah, uh, massive, massive event, and uh, all the semi-finals we've played have been, have been a great event, so just hopefully get as many people down watching, and, and hopefully we can progress and, and be on our way to Wembley, like we say. Yeah, did you get through, through today unscathed? Yeah, yeah, I think we got through unscathed. I think we got, you know, some good performances as well. I think our halves went a lot better than what they have done um, to start the season, but we've got a lot of new combinations, a lot of young players, so um, they're working really hard and they've been really receptive to, to the things that we're talking about with them. Um, so it's really pleasing to see from them. And obviously, uh, Ruby Enright on a debut, scoring two, can't get much better. And <laughs> But Maisie, Maisie Carter were really good as well in terms of just wanting to win everything, so it was yeah. good. And in terms of that, the players coming through, I mean, the fact that a lot of clubs now are having the under-19 so to allow that, that development through, I mean, that's, that's great for the game as yeah. a whole as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I'm a massive advocate for the 19s and so are Leeds Rhinos. We have um, had one ever since the Women's Super League launched and without that we wouldn't have had the success that we've had and they're an integral part to what we do at the club. So, um, yeah, long late, may it continue and I'm sure we'll get some more stars in the future like yeah, you know, Ruby and Rex, Caitlin Casey and things like that. Yeah, and when you look at some of the players you've still got to come back, come back in as well. I mean, it's it's going to give you a few headaches surely in the next few weeks, isn't it? Yeah, I'll just start thinking that. Obviously, we've had a real tough ta- start to the season and a lot of people just talk about results and not about, you know, some of the probably adversity that we've, we've probably faced a little bit in terms of, you know, we've had a lot of girls go to the NRL and then injuries to key players like Zoe and um, uh, Zoe and Caitlin and, and Evie, who's a young player but will be a good player. So, yeah, hopefully the tide's turning and we can start to have um, get a bit more form and a bit more consistency. Yeah.